<laughs> now you gotta watch out, these things will... Oh, oh, we're not gonna watch the fish death though, okay. Hi, Eric here. Today, Simai, William, and I are in the tiny town of Krache, Cambodia, where we just took a little trip to see if our PCX was up to long distance travel, which so far it has in fact been. But now we're here at our hotel, Pravada Lodge, which is right on the edge of the market in Krati. So let me show you what a real countryside market looks like. So I'm gonna start right here at our hotel, the Pravada Lodge. And right there next to it is the market. Whoops. It's about as authentic of a market as you're going to find in anywhere in Cambodia. Almost only Cambodians live here. Very, very few foreigners. You have the obligatory uh, trash mountain that is always at these markets, it seems like. Uh, here we have all kinds of really delicious seafood, nice shrimp, look at those shrimp, some squids, that would be I think a really big squid or an octopus, little octopodes. You are live streaming? Oh, hello, yeah. Hello, yeah. Hello, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, YouTuber. Yeah. yeah. And we got some fresh oysters, although I'm not sure if I'd eat them fresh. Of course, you wouldn't have a market without chickens, so you got tons and tons of chickens and ducks just kind of hanging out right there. And more shrimp. If you love shrimp, this is the place for you. They get them right out of the river. Here's your beef, cockles. Ooh, this is a nice one here. Look at those fresh snake heads. <laughs> Now, you gotta watch out, these things will... Oh, oh, we're not gonna watch the fish death though, okay. Walk, okay, well that's the end of that fish. Um, anyway, lots of snakeheads here. They're quite yummy. Get your eggs. All the fresh veggies, you can imagine. Hello. I don't know what he said, I hope it wasn't bad. Of course, you can buy all your packaging products, your bags and your toothpicks. If you like fruits and vegetables, Cambodia could be a place for you because there's an unlimited number of fresh fruits and vegetables. Just look at all these onions and, and garlic, limes, pickles. Uh, if you ever wanted to eat cow hooves, there you go, there's your cow hooves, your, those are your uh, stomachs and intestines. Uh, that's all beef, it looks like, oh, no, my bad, it's all pork. You got some uh, pork heads, as one might expect, still see the teeth there. Sauce lady. Okay, here we have uh, some more fresh fruits and vegetables. Sweet potatoes. Uh, sweet potatoes are surprisingly common in Cambodia. Although they do eat uh, normal potatoes as well around here. Okay, your eggplants, carrots, cabbages, onions. Great selection, all of it completely fresh. Then, if we... If we turn around, oops. we turn around. We got some fresh meats cooking. Looks really, really good. These are uh, little birds that he's roasting right here. You got some chicken feet, sausages, uh, lots of fish, cooked fish. These are walking catfish. They are very, very, very yummy. They're called walking catfish because they will, they will jump out of your. Uh, swimming pool or your pond or your pot and they will walk away for quite some distance. Um, here we got uh, some more fish. These guys here with the little bent necks are called short mackerel. Very good. Oh, they got these, uh, these tinfoil barbs. Also very delicious. 
I like to catch those sometimes. Sausage lady, look at all these nice sausages. Yum. It's making me a little bit hungry, truth be told. Wouldn't surprise me to see that kid driving the scooter. I've seen younger kids than that drive scooters around here. Especially in these little countryside towns. Nobody stops anybody. Uh, you got nice rice noodles right there. You ubiquitous shrimp and cockles. Oh, look at these nice crabs. These crabs are all still alive. They're just kind of hanging out there, awaiting their fate. But this isn't the whole market. There's actually a large indoor portion that is only open during the day. This night part of the market is open until quite late after dark. So let's go inside. We're just gonna turn left, go past Trash Mountain, and up into Yield Market. Krati is a, or I should say Krache is a cute little town, really. Now being Songkran, this might not be as open as it normally is. It's to my new year here, so of course everyone's on a holiday. I don't blame them, but let's just see what we got. Yeah, okay. So some of the some of the market is still open, I see. Here you've got clothes. Typically clothes like this are running around 10,000 real or about two and a half dollars. Woman's just enjoying her jam, good for her. Uh, the ingredient shop. You can buy all manner of cooking ingredients here. Uh, these things are yummy. These fried pork skins, uh, they're better than potato chips. So I'm quite certain that if it was not Kamai New Year, that this place would be completely full. But uh, that's not the case, so let's just go a little further in and see what is here. Of course, lots of clothing, bras, lady shirts. Right here we have these lovely floor mats. Saimai and I uh, actually love these things. You find them in Thailand as well. Uh, and all you really need for a restaurant is a bamboo plank. You put those, those uh, mats down, boom, you got your tables. I can hear the sounds of people packing up. All right, so here you can buy various plates and silverware and other useful things for your home and your kitchen. All the disposable plastic wares that you need. Some might say that in Cambodia we need less of them. I don't know what she said. Hopefully nothing bad. Oh, fancy, shiny, glittery dresses. Very nice. Wow, that's actually quite nice looking. Ooh, so here's the gold shop. So, ah, uh, she turns on. So, uh, one of the things about gold in Cambodia, Khmer gold, it's very different from American gold. Because uh, American gold, you'll notice, is a paler, lighter color because it's got a lower gold percentage. And that's in order to make the, uh, the gold stronger but it's also less pure. So here in Cambodia, as well as Thailand, if you come, you'll notice that the gold is extremely yellow, and it's because it is almost uh, pure 24 karat gold. Uh, so that makes it more expensive and more beautiful, but at the same time, it's the, the metal's a lot softer. So you can't buy really thin bracelets, or uh, like, if you're buying this really, these really thin necklaces here, you're possibly in for some trouble. It's likely to break because the gold is so pure and so soft. So you're better off getting one of these really heavy chains, which is really, really, really expensive though. Uh, but yeah, uh, but Khmer gold is much more pure than American gold. Uh, they also tend to use gold as like a, as like a, a savings account where you can, you can give uh, gold to your loved ones. I've done this with Siamai before where I'll give her a piece of gold jewelry for her birthday, for Christmas, or her anniversary, and she'll just be overcome with joy. She'll take the solid gold earrings, and then she'll say, thank you, thank you, with true joy in her eyes, and then I'll never see it again. 
she'll pack it away, ferret it away in some closet somewhere. I found them, so I know she's not like selling them. She just won't wear them because I've essentially given her a, a savings account. Uh, and that's how it is both in Thailand and Cambodia. So, Cambodia. Cambodia, Cambodia, yes. <laughs> the Cambodians are the friendliest group of people as a whole that I have ever met. That's not an exaggeration. Yeah, the market's looking a little bit like a ghost town here. I'd like to see it when it's really uh, roaring, you know, a week from now. Of course, being a market, you've got to have your beauty shop where you can get all the, the cute little, you know, the, the little decorations for your hair and all this stuff. Very nice. Okay, more glamour stuff right here. It gets a little bit tight in some of these markets. Oh, okay, you've got all your cleaning supplies that you could ever need. You could probably clean the whole country with all these cleaning supplies. Pardon me. Pardon me. Yeah, okay. Buddha stuff. More cleaning supplies. We got, oh, this is all makeup, cosmetics. Of course, uh, many females are there at the cosmetic shop. It's customers. Here you have the, the kids' toys. And more gold. Uh, we appear to have a mixture, well, of different uh, hair products, more cleaning. This is all nails. Well, that's not true. Nails and hair. And this being my new year and celebrating much the same way as in Thailand, of course, you're going to have the huge squirt guns that you can buy that hold like a liter of water and you can really soak people with them. Yeah. Okay. Then after the gold shop, that's it for this cool market. And here we are right outside. And right there is the riverside. Well, okay, that was the Crache Market. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and would like to see more like it, please like and subscribe and come back for more. Have a great day.